Hello everyone, it's Carrie Bradford, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about radial gradients. And a radial gradient is just that. It is a gradient that is in the form of a circle. It can start with a light center and work its way out to a dark, or vice versa, a dark center and work its way out to a light. And in Silhouette Studio, there isn't an option for these circular gradients. They only have linear ones. To show you really quick, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Come up here to the gradient, and you can see everything that we have as far as our choices here are linear, meaning that they are going up and down. There is no start in the middle and work its way out, whether it's you know, going dark or light or whatever. You only have straight up and down. And that's nice for some things, but when you want to make something that looks a little more button-like or dimensional, it's kind of hard because there isn't that choice. Additionally, there isn't a choice to go from dark to transparent. If you look here, it's going from dark to white. There is no transparent. So if I were to put this over this red spot, you can see there is no see-through. I mean, we can add a transparency to it, but if you want this to be solid and this to be see-through, you can't do that with the current way Silhouette Studio works. It didn't work in the older version 2 series, and so far it's not that way in the version 3 series. So my philosophy is, where there's a will, there's a way. If I want that radial gradient, gradient I'm going to do it. So that's where the radial neutrals kit comes into play. And basically what the kit is, is just a bunch of PNG files that have the radials already pre-made as, as that PNG file that you can overlay on your circles or squares to give yourself that dimensional look that you want that you can't get with the current, current gradient options in Studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to come up here and open up one of our radials here. Let's go ahead and open up the Marshmallow Inner. And what that one is, is it's white and it starts out where it's strong in the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose that. And it looks like it brought up absolutely nothing. But it really is there. If I were to click, you can see it's outlined there. If you want to see it, you can come over here to the Reveal Cutting Mat and you can see that it really truly is there. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that, press Ctrl or Command C for copy, come back over here to our working screen and press Ctrl or Command V for paste. And I am going to size this so that it is the same as what is up there. But you can already see, look at what that's doing to that red spot. So you can even just add it faintly from the side and have it just give it this totally different look. So let's go ahead, I'm just going to size this to three inches so it's the same. And say apply. And when, you, when I put it over it, you can see that that white is really, really strong and intense. And that's just a little too much for probably your designing pleasure. So what we can do is just come to the fill color window and come to this transparency and slide it on down. And then you can see that just gives that that whole dimensional look that we well that I've been wanting I that you can't get with the current gradient system so now let's go and get a dark one so I'm gonna go out here and let's get the molasses outer so that's gonna start on the dark it's gonna be like a dark dark brown and go transparent to the inside so I'm just gonna go ahead and click that and you can see dark on the outside to the transparency on the inside if I were to put something underneath there, you would be able to see through that. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Move over here, Control V or Command V for paste. And let's size this so that it is the same. And Y. And now let's just put that over the top there. And you can see it's really dark. And that, you know, that's kind of a fun look. No big deal. But, you know, it's a little too strong. I kind of want to just give it more of that dimensional feel, just kind of accent it like as if you've maybe stamped around the outside edge of it, something more along those lines. And just go ahead and choose my fill color. Let's take that transparency way down. Let's maybe make it about 86%. So 
So now you can see what a difference that makes. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and show you the difference if I were to take it off. So you can see you get a little bit of a brighter red if you do it this way. This way it just kind of gives it just a little bit deeper edge and it just kind of gives it a whole different dimension. So the, the thing with this kit, with these radials, is you, you have to play. That's just, you play with it and go, hmm, I like this way or, you know, whatever. And then you can save your little masterpiece works of radial art and, and keep it and so that you have these references for later. So maybe I want to go ahead and just move that on over there and look at what that does to that. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy that one again. And I'm just going to move it over here. And you can see it just makes it, gives it a whole different look. And I love it. I just love the way that that transposes the colors and just gives it this dimensional look so that you can make a really cute print and cut. Now, one other thing that you can do, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one below just so that I have a copy of that. And I'm going to move it back up. Say you want a little less of the dark, you know, right there at that edge. You can increase this and move it over to the center. And then I'm going to paste that one that was there. And of course, you could align all these, but I'm just kind of doing this quickly. I'm going to shift click so I get the outer one as well as the inner one. And then I'm going to come up here to my modify tool and I'm just going to crop some of that out. So then it just kind of makes it so that that darker side that was there is out even just a little bit more and we've just gotten rid of it. So you can have some fun by just using the modify tool and getting rid of some of that as well. And as you saw before, you can have some fun by just maybe moving part of that white part and we can even make it bigger. Bring it out like this so that you get just a hint of it. Of course, that's kind of similarish to the to the linear ones that Silhouette has, but as you can see, there's there's a roundness to it. So you can just kind of have some fun and just do whatever you want with it. I mean, just like I say, mix it up, mix the outers with the inners, and mix the shades, and use one or use and use your transparencies, and just kind of have a lot of fun with it. See if I make that really big. That's just, that's really big. And that just kind of overall changes the whole thing. That's why I kind of like it even smaller to where you can even do that. Again, it's just play, 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 and play some more to get whatever you look you want. So there you go. That's how you can play with these radial gradients in Silhouette Studio. Thanks for stopping by.